I was impressed with that move you pulled. Bang. Gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, it's me, it's G, it's the Double MD, the undefeated, undisputed YouTube champion. That's right, it's the Maverick, Mark Daniels, here with episode 146 of our Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Blue Rescue Team Let's Play. And guys, if you missed last episode, we attempted Celebi again. Um, we had a we had a run that I probably could have uh, could, probably could have done. We had a crazy run with teleport. That was pretty funny. Um. We just got unlucky in certain parts of the of the uh, of the runs, but it's all right. Um, I found out yesterday, and by yesterday I mean last episode, but yesterday for me personally, um, I found out that Celebi you don't have to battle it. Now, if I would have known that in like our first couple runs, I would have done something maybe a little bit differently. Maybe used items when I when I should have, like max elixirs. Probably could have made it through there and and beaten the dungeon uh, rather easily. So we are going to do that at some point. Now that I have that in mind, I can kind of treat the dungeon a little differently. Uh, so we'll see how that works out. But before we do that, a uh, Shiva on one of my videos commented that you can get a Gardevoir, the one from your dreams, you can recruit it. I didn't realize that. So we're going to try that. So apparently it has to do with these guys right here and Gengar. So let's talk to them. I have not seen Gengar around. The way he uh, sets his mouth, it's different. Just a little, little at the corners. Hmm. Alright, so now Gengar should ask us for some help in doing a mission or something like along those lines. We're actually going to go ahead and swap to uh, Maki here. Uh, we'll do a quick mission in the first stage. Where's Maki? You know what I should have done? I should have put in some wonder, some wonder codes for some joy seeds. Um, leading into this, I didn't really think about that till now. Uh, that would have been that would have been nice. We do need more joy seeds. I haven't done any grinding yet since last episode, because I figured we have at least one more episode. And I wanted to get the Celebi as soon as possible. Um, as I say that, we're going to be doing something that does not include Celebi, but um, I can't really say I 100% this game if I don't do this part of the story, right? I didn't realize you could actually recruit this Gardevoir until Shiva said something. So I'm glad they did. Uh, so I appreciate shoutouts to you, Shiva. Um, thank you for letting me know that you can do this. Um, okay, so I need to go. We're just gonna go to the first area. Um, I believe the mission with Gengar is something to do with Murky Cave. I don't even know what, what cave that is. I don't know how many floors it is. Hopefully, it's not too long of a of a dungeon. But uh, after this mission, I'm, I think Gengar should approach us at our house when we wake up. Um, and it's either that particular mission with Gengar that we get to recruit Gardevoir. Or uh, a mission afterwards. So uh, it didn't. He uh, did not approach us. Maybe we gotta keep talking. Okay, so now they're over here. Mount Freeze. Oh, that's right, Mount Freeze. Do we actually need to go to Mount Freeze now, or do we have to do another mission first? Let's do another mission first, and then we'll go to Mount Freeze. Mount Freeze is pretty short, so there's something to do with Murky Cave. Um, I did. I, I I quickly like just quickly read and scanned through the story of this to see what we had to do. So I don't know. I don't remember exactly what we have to do. And I did this like early in the morning when I saw the comment from Shiva. So I'm hoping we we'll just boom, 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 boom. yeah. I can't say 100% of this game without. Uh, here's Gengar. Cat cat late riser. Like always, slow to rise, aren't you, Team Idols? Cat cat cat. But that's not what I came here to say today. It irks me to say this, but I need your help. Can you take me up to Mount Freeze? I tried going up over and over, but keh, it's steep and harsh. Nine tells us up there. Oh. Yes. It'd be cool if we could recruit, uh, like, Gengar and stuff, right? Like, we already have a Gengar, but, like, just the character development of this particular Gengar, that would have been pretty cool. Alright, so we're going to be going to Mount Freeze. Mount Freeze isn't that large of a dungeon, if I remember right. Oh, we're going straight to the top, eh? Maybe? I thought that was like the peak. I think Mount Freeze has like, what, 15 floors, maybe? Gengar is what, level 15? Oof. I should have brought some Reviver Seeds with me. I really should have. And maybe some apples. 
I didn't plan this out very well, did I, guys? <laughs> I'm sorry. This is gonna be a monster room, isn't it? No. What else could I have brought to help this out? I mean, a reviver seed would have been nice. Uh, oh, and I could have brought my X ray specs. Oh, I have X ray specs, so oh, never mind. I'm stupid. I saw the items anyways. It's been a while since I've used Maki. She already had uh, X ray specs equipped. Cause she's a pro. Unlike me, I am not a pro. I'm definitely going to grab this apple uh, with one apple and a reviver seed. Okay, wow, we got kind of lucky there. Uh, with, the, with one apple, it should be okay. I mean, we don't really. I guess I don't think this is a very long dungeon. If I remember right, it's like 20 floors maximum, right? I, I can't remember if it's 20 floors or if it's like 15. I could look it up, but I'm not going to. <laughs> just because I know it's it's not a very long. It's not it's not a 50 floor dungeon, right? Let's just put it that way. Do I need to go down here? Maybe. I thought maybe this would be a dead uh, dead end, but it's not. This probably is though. It's not. It is, okay. Alright, so there's another one right here. Mm. Some cashola. Fifth floor, sixth floor. I can't remember if this dungeon has a peak or not. Like, we have to go like an extra few floors or something to get to the top of the mountain. It's nice at least Gengar could walk on water. A nice silver gummy. We actually don't need gummies anymore. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure we have all the uh, IQ digi uh, Digimon. Wow. Disrespectful. I said Digimon and I'll tell you guys why I said Digimon. Um, my friend Donnie bought me Warcraft 3 uh, Reforged. And there's a lot of custom games on there. That's We've been playing that. We were playing uh, Digimon Tower Defense. And I've been kind of playing that a little bit. And by a little bit I mean kind of a lot. And... Uh, Wow, I just had Digimon on the brain for some reason, so totally disrespectful to Pokemon, my one true love, by calling them Digimon, and I feel terrible about it. <laughs> Anywho, um, I don't even know what I was saying before, I totally disrespected Pokemon and everything involved with Pokemon. Uh, I do want to play, so I have uh, Digimon, uh, speaking of Digimon, I know this is kind of off topic, but... I brought Digimon up, so it's kind of on topic. Digimon Cyber Sleuth, is that what it's called? I have that game for the PS4. I'm thinking about getting the uh, complete uh, edition or whatever on the Switch. I'm thinking about recording that at some point. I never beat the game. Like, I, I got pretty dang close, and I got distracted with, like, just leveling up a bunch of Digimon. Because I wanted to, like, complete the, the Digidex, if you want to call it that. Um, but I just never finished it. So I kind of want to finish it because it's a pretty fun game. The story was interesting, I want to see how it ends. Um, playing the Digimon Tower Defense has kind of got me uh, thinking about Digimon a little bit, obviously. So I thought about playing that at some point. Obviously the next game on this channel is going to be Mystery Dungeon DX. Um, this game, this episode will probably come out after DX has been released. Which means I'm going to have a couple, uh, a few days of triple uploads. And that's fine, because I want to get DX uploaded as soon as possible. Um, we'll go ahead and save here. Um, I want to get D I want to play DX as soon as possible. There's a peak. Um, so I'll be uploading these alongside with it. Um, I'll probably do like this will probably get released at like noon. Uh, DX will be released at like 3 p.m. or something, and then we'll do uh, what did I do with is it Sonic Adventure 2 that I do with Pokemon Mystery Dungeon? And then Sonic Adventure 2 at uh, 6 p.m. I think it's Sonic Adventure 2. Uh, it's funny I don't remember like my exact schedule like which like games go with what I just see that oh I have I need uh, this and this today and then I just, I just uh, publish it or if I have them scheduled out together like on YouTube they'll just be scheduled out together. I don't really remember which goes with which to be honest I think I'm pretty sure it's Borderlands and Pokemon Mystery Dungeon no no no. Sonic Adventure 2 and, and Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, and then it's uh, Dragon Ball Z Kakarot and Borderlands 3 is the other day. Anyways, enough of that. So now you're seeing Nine Tesla. Let's see what we got going on here. Recognize me? You want to know what I want? Look at me. It's, isn't it your fault that I look like this? You fled from yourself as a human, and you fled from Gardevoir. It was I who cast the curse. But you became Gengar because you abandoned Gardevoir. 
I don't remember. Did we uh when we when we played the game? Like I know it's it's been a it's we started this game almost a year ago, and I've said this a few times. Uh, we started this in March of 2019, and it's or, yeah, and it's March 2020. It was like March 19th or something. So almost a full year, and it's been a long time since we finished the story. I don't remember. Did we find out that Gengar was the uh, the person that betrayed Gardevoir? Because he was trying to put the blame on us, right? I remember that much. I, I believe Gengar was the one that kind of initiated that. We Nine Tails are known to be vengeful in the extreme. Once we cast a curse, it is final. So powerful that we cannot even lift it. I may be enraged at your treacherous heart, and on it I laid my curse. For that reason, the pain on your heart now, the curse may be lifted. The Nine Tail Crest. That's cool. And the Murky Cave. Excuse me. That oaf. He has changed in many ways, but he is wavering. His old and new emotions are clashing within his heart. He can only realize that upon reaching the murky cave, if he does not... Mm, interesting. So we're going to go to the uh, murky cave next. I, I don't know how large murky cave is. I'm going to bring some more items this time. Yeah, 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 yeah. I want to go uh, grab some items. We need some reviver seeds just to be on the safe side. I'll we'll see if there's any. Ooh, there's. Ooh, there's two joy seeds. Holy crap! It must be my birthday. It's not. My birthday's in July. But, but anyways, yeah. Anyways, back to uh, Digimon Cyber Sleuth. So, I'm thinking about playing that on the channel at some point. Probably not right away. You know, we got obviously, like I said, next is Mystery Dungeon DX. Um, maybe after Dragon Ball Z Kakarot? No, because that's going to be like a few months away. And by a few months, I mean at least two months. Borderlands 3, we're probably going to get to. Maybe after Sonic Adventure 2. I don't know. What, what, whatever we finish the next game, maybe we'll do that next. Uh, Final Fantasy is coming out soon too, though. So, man, it's just... <laughs> we'll play it eventually. It might be a while, but... I was just thinking about that because I mentioned Digimon. Anywho, none of that matters. Let's grab some mother effing reviver seeds. We'll deposit those joy seeds. We'll need them, of course. We still have a lot of grinding left to do. We have about 30 Pokemon or so to finish off. One of them happens to be Gardevoir, so this does help us with our Pokedex, which is nice. We'll deposit all this random stuff we don't need. Uh, we do need some apples. I don't I deposit regular apples. We'll grab some uh, some big apples here. Because at this point, we don't need any of these items. Well, I, well, I say that. We do need, like, joy seeds and stuff and reviver seeds. But as far as, like, apples and stuff, like, we're pretty much good on that. Because, like, Celebi's Dungeon, we, we pick them up as we go along. So, um, am I out of, like, huge apples? No. Okay. Three should be plenty. I can't imagine Murky Cave's a big dungeon. I don't even know if we've ever been to Murky Cave. I'm assuming we have. Maybe. I mean, unless this unlocks it. Anywho, let's go ahead and go on to Murky Cave. I mean, it looks familiar. This is Zubat. Oh, God. Okay, guys, about to go down. Oh, nope. Alright, we're trying to get through this. But if we do play Digimon Cyber Sleuth, we will complete the Digidex of sorts. Um, I don't know if there's a way to keep track of it in the game, if there's a Pokedex inside the game. Like, there isn't really one for this game. I'm just, I had to, like, type it out in Google Docs, essentially. No, we don't want Grimer. But, uh, we'll see. So it looks like this is kind of like a lot of poison Pokemon, bug Pokemon, which is kind of cool. I mean, it is a murky case, so that makes a lot of sense to me. So we're going to rescue Gardevoir. Uh, 
I'm actually really excited for uh, Mystery Dungeon DX, man. Um, today's the third, so it comes out in just a few days. I have it pre-ordered on Amazon. Um, I'm hoping maybe, you know, I, I helped I helped with uh, with Sword and Shield, but it didn't happen. But I'm hoping maybe it'll come like a day early. You know, it, it, it can always happen. It's happened to me at least once from Amazon. I think it's happened a couple times, though. I'm pretty sure I got, like, uh, Mario Kart Deluxe like a day or two early. I may even got Splatoon 2 like a day or two early as well. I don't remember. Um, I know for sure I got Mario Kart early. Um, so you never know. You never know. So you guys might see some uh, some DX a little early. We'll see. Very excited to see what our Pokemon are going to be. Uh, you know, because I'm going to take the uh, like the personality test or whatever that they give us. And then I'm pretty much going to straight up just take what they give us. It could be anything. It'd be interesting if it's the same, uh, if it's Maki again, if we get another Torchic. Uh, you're probably going to get knocked out, my boy. I can't do nothing for you here. Or can I? I can't remember. Can I hit you through the wall? No. There we go. Alright. So we're on the seventh floor now. I'm assuming this floor is like... This dungeon is like 20 uh, floors as well. Again, I could just Google it, but... I ain't too worried about it. Because we're going to do it anyway, so it doesn't matter... It doesn't matter if we know how many floors there are, right? If we're going to complete it regardless. And I'm excited to see, like, how the shiny, like, Pokemon mechanics going to work in this game. Like, how to hunt shinies. I think it's going to be very fun. Um... There's just a lot to the game that I'm excited for. Now, I haven't looked too deep into the game because, again, I'm trying to avoid spoilers. But I have seen that there's, like, leaks and stuff. Or, like, data mines. Or oh, my God. We just destroyed Gengar. Um, something along those lines. But I've avoided them. I don't want to see any of that stuff yet. Um, I, I know. I think that the uh, complete Pokedex may have been leaked. Now, I mean, we could kind of tell what's going to be in there, right? Because, I mean, we, I saw the trailer. The initial trailer. I don't know if there's been an additional one or not, because I've kind of been avoiding that altogether. But we saw the initial tra uh, trailer that we did a... Uh, what do you really call it a review? I mean, it's kind of a review. Uh, where I watched the... Uh, the uh, trailer. And then we did some commentary while we watched it. That was pretty cool. I definitely want to do more stuff like that in the future. And I will when like more direction stuff come out for sure um, but we saw that there's like Lucario in the game god damn it like Lucario in the game um, some gen 4 uh, I think it showed some more gen 4 Pokemon there. I don't really remember I do remember seeing mega Pokemon being in the game and then I did see something on Twitter a long time ago that said something about gen 4 Pokemon like evolutions being in the game maybe even Sylveon's in the game but beyond that, I haven't seen anything, so. Kind of want to be surprised if there's anything different in the game, like Pokemon-wise. Um, if, like, say, like, Gen 4 Legendaries are in the game or something. I want to kind of keep that a surprise, man. I, I, uh... Ooh, Crobat. Love Crobat. Um, but I'm very excited, man. It's just kind of crazy, like, the timing that the game came out, right? Like... Literally, as we're playing through Mystery Dungeon Blue Rescue Team, and almost a year deep, you know, we're going to end up losing, yeah, we did lose our uh, link. That's how I could always put that link back in later. Um, like, as we're playing through Mystery Dungeon Blue Rescue Team, they come out with, like, a remake of it. <laughs> like, pretty bizarre, man, like, and we're almost on the, like, we were almost at the tail end of it anyways. I mean, granted, I probably could have stretched it out for at least... 20 more episodes I probably would have if DX wasn't coming out not because of not for like to like stretch it out or anything but just because it's a lot of work and a lot of time that I don't necessarily have I mean I still got a lot of grind to do and I didn't quite make the deadline that I wanted to make um, mostly because like Chansey was a pain in the ass to get it took me what I say five and a half hours to get both Chanseys Celebi we're now uh, at the three hour mark with um, we've done two episodes oh boy my instinct was to teleport, but I don't have teleport. <laughs> We've been using Alakazam a little too much, huh? Uh oh, Gengar's in trouble. But, uh, but yeah. I'm sorry, why am I getting destroyed? 
I wasn't paying attention. I'm glad we brought all these reviver seeds. We, we might go through them all. We only have three left. I maybe sh should have brought more. We're only 15 floors deep. This dungeon is a little bit harder than I thought it would be. Swalot, mischievous, no thanks. Almost ran into it again. <laughs> And we still got Celebi to do, and Celebi could take us a long time to finish. I mean, it's a, it's the toughest dungeon in the game. You know, it's very RNG based. I'm not, I'm gonna record some more uh, Celebi runs tonight. I'm hoping I can finish it tonight. Um, hopefully, it's just in the next video, and we're done with that. Then all we got left is to finish the Pokedex itself, the Living Dex specifically. We have any more left? We have one more left. Okay. I really hope this is a 24 dungeon. Gengar is a little too weak for this, man. I should have just brought a full grip of Reviver Seeds and a couple apples. Honestly. I mean, hopefully we could get Celebi completed tonight. Um, then I could just completely just focus on the Pokedex until it's done. Um... And then I can go back to focusing on Dragon Ball Z Kakarot and trying to finish that game out. Which, we're almost done with the game. Not on the channel, but like, me recording. Um, God damn it. Again, I'm not going to say exactly where I'm at, but let's just say that I'm almost done completely with the game. Okay, so we finished the dungeon. Hollow spot. So we put the crest in there. Welcome. Welcome to Murky Cave. Comes out with streamers and like a big old sign like you know <laughs> big old party. The Judge of Darkness. You're not to fear for me, I mean you no harm. Just now, a key was inserted to break a curse. The curse, it is the one on Gardevoir. I cannot allow that right away. I must first know if you've earned the right. I must evaluate you. You must bear your true feelings to me. Nothing so barbaric. All I need from you is to answer some questions. However... Gengar will not be doing the answering. Maki. You will answer. Okay. Interesting. Your heart is intertwined. Interwoven, sorry. Interwoven with conflicting emotions. Oh, we're entering Gengar's heart. It's so dark in here. And cold. If you fail to draw out Gengar's true feelings, the curse will never be broken. Oh, wow. First of all, why does Gengar wish to break the curse? To help Gardevoir. Gardevoir certainly didn't protect, or certainly did protect Gengar from the curse. Sacrificed herself to do so, but what did Gengar do then? Abandoned Gardevoir and ran. I didn't want to be cursed, okay. Bomb between Gengar and Gardevoir was that flimsy. Yes. None. No regrets. No regrets. Not even one letter. Gengar, whether you have the right to break the curse or not, I will now render my judgment. The curse cannot be lifted. Uh oh. Do we mess up? It's true I've been in Gardevoir and ran. I was afraid that the curse would fall on me. I had to get away no matter what. That's what I thought. It didn't take long for me to forget about the curse and about Gardevoir. Many long years passed, but Gardevoir, she never forgot about me. 
one night. In Maki's dream, Gardevoir said this, that she considered me an irreplaceable friend and that she still believed we would meet again. Gardevoir kept thinking about someone like me. But I, how self selfish I was. I lived carefree all this time. I realize now how selfish I was. It's not just Gardevoir. Team Idols put up with my selfishness and brought me here. I finally know what I was missing, what I lacked. It was something for the others, a sense of gratitude. Wow, this is actually kind of a heartwarming moment. So the, the uh, curse is lifted, and there's Gardevoir. And Ninetales. The curse has been broken. I cast my curse and raised at your twisted heart. When your heart gained what it had been missing, the curse has shattered. The final key to break the curse was your sense of gratitude. You may be re uh, reassured Gardevoir has returned. She will soon awaken. However, that you were her, her partner in the past, Gardevoir will have no recollection. Oh, that's sad. Well, that's nice of Gengar. So that's really cool. Gengar really had a change of heart here. From the bottom of my heart, thank you so much for saving me. Gives us a kiss. <laughs> Adios. Your name, please, what is your name? The name is Gengar. Glad to meet you. So we'll save our adventure here. Alright, so... Gardevoir didn't come to us in our dream. It might be because we don't have any spots open in our, uh party so I'm going to get rid of a Curlia oh they might be in the square is it in the square yeah there's Gardevoir right here I would like to join team models and help on rescues please yes you can and there we go so we got Gardevoir that was a fun little story, very heartwarming story, honestly, of the uh, of Gengar. Had some great character development for Gengar and for uh, for what he did in the story. Um, again, I don't remember. I think I think it was found out that Gengar was the original trainer. I call it a trainer, but the original human that uh, betrayed Gardevoir because everyone thought it was us for a while. Um, I think I think they found out it was Gengar and Gengar like kind of hightailed it out of there. I don't remember. It's been a while. S I mean, it's weird to think about that, but it's been a while since we played through the story of this game. Uh, we pretty much just been working on the Pokédex, and I kind of forget if that's what happened or not. Um, but of course, as I mentioned last episode, guys, we are done with first gen and second gen of the Pokédex. All that's left is some of third gen, not all of third gen, just some of it. Um, we'll quickly go over the Pokédex. Obviously, still need Celebi, so I say we're done with second gen. Everything but Celebi. Uh, we need Grovaw, Skeptile, Lanoon, Shiftry, Swellow, Pelipper, Gardevoir. Actually, we have, so we can go ahead and mark that off our list. Um, we need Breloom, Slocking, Ninja, Ask Shen, Ninja, Exploud, Agron, Metacham, Swalot, Wellord, Camerupt, Grumpig, Flygon, Cacturn, Altaria, Wishcatch, Crawdon, Claydol, Armaldo, Bennett, Dusclops, Glalie, Celio, Walrein, Salamance, and Metagross. Everything else we have. Um, next episode, guys, we're going to be working on Celebi again. Again, we might have some Pokemon to evolve before then. I don't know. Um, we're probably going to do the Celebi run tonight. So I have a, f I guess, you know, I got a handful of hours before then. I'm going to try to do some grinding a little bit. Maybe I can get like five Pokemon done or something. That'd be a pretty good goal to reach. Um, the way we can evolve before we go against Celebi's uh, dungeon again. And then we'll head into Purity Forest. My plan is for our final episode after we get Celebi... We'll do one more episode where uh, we'll evolve the remaining Pokemon we have left. We'll go over the Pokedex, make sure we have everything. We'll go through every individual friend area, make sure we have them all. We'll do something like this. Like, we'll go to the friend area, and then we'll do the info options. These, we don't have Swellow. We'll see that all of them are light blue if we have them all. And we'll also kind of look at the Pokemon, you know, just kind of um, basking in our in our uh, success there, kind of enjoying what we've done in this run, looking at the Pokemon and whatnot. 
I hope uh, Mr. F Mr. Dungeon DX has friend areas. I really enjoy that aspect of the game. When um, Explorers of Time and Darkness came out, I was a little disappointed that friend areas didn't exist. That was one of my favorite things about this particular game. I liked that you could uh, you would have to buy the friend areas, like unlock them or obtain them, and then you could recruit certain Pokemon in those areas. I thought that was a pretty cool idea. Now, of course, it does kind of limit you because then you can only have like one of each Pokemon in each area. I don't remember if you can have like a ton of extra Pokemon in Explorers of Time and Darkness. It's been a long time since I played those two. And at some point, we will play through those on this channel. Obviously, next is DX. I don't know if we'll transition from DX into uh, Explorers of Time, Darkness, and Sky after uh, DX. I'm not sure if we'll take a break from Mystery Dungeon or not. I don't know how we'll be feeling. I'm not really burnt out on Mystery Dungeon, believe it or not. It's been almost a year. Um, so, who knows? Maybe I will try to, you know, complete, you know, Explorers of Time and Darkness next. And uh, probably going to play through Sky, though. And try to complete the Pokedex through there. I don't know what we're going to do. But anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, a fun little episode here. Thanks again to Shiva for pointing out that uh, you can get Gardevoir, that Gardevoir from our dreams, by doing a, a mission of sorts. I honestly had no idea. I guess I could have looked and looked, because there's like, like on Cerebi, there's an option to look at like other Pokemon you can obtain, like Absol and like Smeargle and stuff. I didn't realize you can get this Gardevoir. Maybe at one point I knew that and I just forgot. Um, I didn't really think about it, to be honest. I, I, maybe I was just in a rush to work on the Pokedex. I don't know. But thanks to Shiva once again. And until next time, guys, I am the Maverick Mark Daniels. Being you farewell. Peace and one love. Bang!